Hello, welcome to the video on solving two-step equations. This is our first example set, example set A. And of course, I hope you had a chance to watch a lesson. And in the lesson video, I stress the importance of already knowing how to solve one-step equations, because that's basically um, what two-step equations are. They're simply just two one-step equations. Okay, so if you find yourself struggling, you know, with what I'm going to be doing here, you might want to go back to one-step one equations. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, let's take our first problem here, 2x plus 6 equals 18, is you're going to solve for that variable uh, term, okay? So in this case, it's going to be 2x. I'm going to use addition or subtraction. So to isolate the 2x, I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. And notice how I'm writing everything. I'm subtracting 6 underneath the 6. I got the minus 6 underneath the 18. That's exactly how you should be modeling your work after the way I'm doing it. Okay. All right, so when I add down the columns here, I get 2x plus nothing is 2x. And then the 6s go away. 6 plus uh, positive 6 plus a negative 6 is 0. And that's going to be equal to 18 plus negative 6. And that's going to be 12. Okay, so that's step 1. So the second step is basically solve that basic one-step equation. Okay, so it's going to be 2x equals 12. So I'm going to go ahead and use division to isolate that variable, which is x. And I get x is equal to 6. Okay, so this is exactly all the work that you should be showing when you're solving your equation. Okay, two steps. First of all, we subtracted 6 from both sides. And then we went ahead and divided 2. Um, from both sides of the equation, and then we have our solution. Okay, that's it. So let's go on to our second problem. So our variable term is negative 3z, so I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation, just like this. I'm going to add down, I'm going to get negative 3z equals 26 plus negative 5, or 21. Okay. So to solve for z, I simply need to go ahead and now and divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. Okay, that's our step 2. Okay, we're solving that basic one-step equation, which is using the division uh, inverse operation here. So we get negative 3 divided by negative 3. That's positive 1z, or simply z, and that's going to equal to negative 7. Okay, once again, if you're struggling with those positive and negative numbers, go back and review. Okay, but two steps. First of all, we subtracted 5 from both sides of the equation, and then we went ahead and divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. Okay, so if this is pretty easy, and if you're understanding this, then really most of the problems are going to be pretty much the same, or at least the same uh, procedure. And let's take a look at our next two problems here. Okay, so we have 10y minus 50 equals negative 150. So here is our variable term. So this time I'm going to add 50 to both sides of the equation, all right, to solve or to isolate that term, 10y. Okay, it's to get that 10y part by itself first. So when I add down, I get negative 50 plus 50, that's 0. So it just leaves me with that 10y over on the left-hand side. And then I got negative 150 plus 50. So what is that? Okay, so those of you that are masters at positive and negative numbers will know this is going to be negative 100. Okay, now we have 10y equals negative 100. That's just a basic one-step equation. So to solve for y, I simply have to divide both sides of the equation by 10. And I get y is equal to negative 10. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so the process... Uh, is basically always the same with these two-step equations. Okay, we're going to use addition or subtraction to get to that variable term, and then we're going to use multiplication or division to solve the remaining equation. All right, so here is our next one. I have negative w plus 9 equals negative 31. Now, at first glance, this kind of looks like a basic one-step equation, but it's actually a two-step equation. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is isolate this part, this term here, this negative w, so I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. Okay, so adding down, I get negative w equals negative 40. You're always adding. Okay, so it's negative 31 plus a negative 9. So we have negative w equals negative 40. Now, 
I want W equals a number, not negative W. So this negative sign in front of the W is really like a negative 1. So I have to divide both sides of the equation by negative 1 to get that positive W. So W will be equal to negative 40 divided by negative 1 or a positive 40. Okay, so let's take a look at our last two problems. So here we go. We have our term 3x that I want to isolate. So I'm going to go ahead and add 7 to both sides of the equation to get that 3x by itself. So I'm going to get 3x. Okay, remember you're adding down in these column form, if you will. So negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Okay, 3x plus nothing is 3x. Then we have 23 plus 7 is 30. So we have 3x equals 30. So to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3, and I get x is equal to 10. All right, so we're down to our last problem. The variable term here is 1 4th x, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation to get that term by itself, or I'll isolate that part. So I'm going to get 1 4th x is equal to 3 plus negative 2 or 1. Okay, so now you have 1 fourth x equals 1. How do I solve for x? Okay, so this is once again a basic one step equation. So I got to look at that fraction and I got to flip that fraction so that'll be 4 over 1 or 4 and I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by that. Okay, so basically I'm going to be multiplying um, both sides of the equation by 4. So I'll get x is equal to 4. Okay, so these were pretty straightforward, simple problems, simple two-step equation problems. So if you understand this, if you're understanding everything, I congratulate you. And this is really, really good because the next thing we're going to be learning after two-step equations is multi-step equations. And um, once you master those, that's a big, big, uh, I think, skill set that you will have gained in algebra. Super critical algebra, solving equations is central to the study of algebra. Okay, so once you know how to do it and you feel good about it, then you know that's that's something to be really proud of. So if you're struggling a little bit on some issues, just go back and, and you know, first thing is you have to know what you're struggling about. So hopefully I'm giving you enough guidance, whether that's positive and negative numbers or fractions or some of the inverse operations. Just go back and review and believe me it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Okay, so keep working hard. We'll see you soon.